when it comes to hibernating, it's not all bears and groundhogs. Other mammals, amphibians, birds, and even insects rest for long periods. And depending on the duration and season, there are different names for this sedentary state. The most commonly known, hibernation, occurs during the winter. Its summer counterpart is called estivation. Both are an extended form of torpor. Torpor is a short-term state of lowered metabolic rate and body temperature lasting under 24 hours. So which animals enter these dormant periods? The spadefoot toad in the Sonoran Desert estivates through long dry spells, sometimes lasting up to a year underground. When the first rainfall arrives, these sleepy diggers emerge as a group to eat and mate before the water evaporates. The crocodile, however, both estivates and hibernates during extreme weather. These reptiles dig burrows into the side of riverbanks for use when temperatures are either too hot or too cold. But when it comes to group torpor, no one flies above the North American monarch butterfly. These monarchs may migrate over 3,000 miles to remote forests in Mexico, where hundreds of millions of butterflies huddle together in trees the perfect locale for isolated hibernation. Plenty of other animals take an easier route to conserve energy. Primates like the mouse lemur and the bush baby practice daily torpor. So do some bats and hedgehogs. No matter the animal or style, science shows that torpor in any form is different from either sleep or wakefulness and not well understood. Torpor is still very much a mystery to scientists, who have a lot more questions than answers to why and how it works. Still, as scientists research and better understand torpor, perhaps they'll be able to incorporate benefits from this state of consciousness into our own health. Or, at the very least, better predict whether the groundhog will see his shadow. Music